Hey guys, back here at Science is here. Today I'm going to show you my simple furnace I built out of an old uh, propane tank and a steel garbage can, which is on the inside. It's a little dust garbage can. So what I do is first I load it with thick charcoal, big charcoal. It helps with airflow, and then I put in the smaller stuff so it can really get hot. Lots of surface area. This is my stainless steel crucible. I've had a couple of these in the past, but the problem is the molten aluminum actually acts like a solvent and leaches away metal. This will probably only work for about two or three melts before I have to get a new one. Anyway, it fits right in there. It's a lot of aluminum. All right, so now I'm gonna put some aluminum in here. This is about four pounds of aluminum, give or take a little bit, and I feel like a lot of it kind of disappears or it, it turns into the oxide and just floats on the surface. Either way, let's put some uh, lighter fluid on here. And let's get this puppy grilling. Okay, now we've got a fire, and we'll just let it sit there for a couple minutes. Turn on the fan. It's a high volume air blower. And we'll just put the lid on here and let it kind of sit around. Alright, now here we're coming back, and you can see that the embers are starting to glow. It's a good sign, but I think it still needs more time. And that's what I want to see. Alright, here we go. Let's lift it up. Let's check if our aluminum's gone. And it looks like, yes, all of the aluminum is gone. It's all melted down, so let's add some more stuff. This is some uh, aluminum wire that I found at my neighbor's. They're throwing it away. It's called Stabiloid. I don't know exactly what it's made out of. It's some kind of aluminum alloy for electrical wiring. And I've got another pound of that. So, all right, let's assemble it all together and wait for that to melt. All right, now this puppy is on fire and it's bright. It's so white hot you can't even look down in there. Let's see. I can feel the heat from there. I'm scared it's gonna melt my camera. All right, let's check it out. That's a lot of molten aluminum, boy. Hey, right, are you ready? Yep. Okay, and this is the cache that I got from throwing it in the water. This is definitely the biggest piece. Probably weighs like maybe a half a pound, maybe a pound. This one weighs the exact same as that, but this one's a solid aluminum. It's got some neat little bits and pieces. This is my favorite. It's kind of like a little button. Some of these you can see on the inside, there's like granny. It's gonna be a jellyfish looking thing. Alright, well there you go, dumping uh dumping some molten aluminum into the pool. Make some neat little uh, neat little things.